John Venn, the rich mathematician who invented the Venn diagram. John Venn was born in Hull, England on the 4th of August, 1834. His father, Reverend Henry Venn, was a rector of the parish of Dryfoo. His mother, Martha Sykes, died when he was still young. He studied at Cambridge University. John Venn enrolled in this university and got the sixth seat out of the overall entrance exams. Because of his contribution in the field of logic, math, and statistics, he garnered an award of Doctor of Science. The Venn Diagram Look at these two illustrations. What are their differences? For example, we have set A and B. Set A has an element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and set B has an element 3, 4, 5. In Euler's diagram, it shows the inclusion of B in set A. We see that the circle of set B is inside set A without any rooms for individual distinction for set B. While in Venn diagram, it tries to explain every relationship possible even though it does not exist. We call it null set when space has no elements. According to Edward, four statements are being considered in Venn diagram. A and B, A but not B, B but not A, and neither A nor B. Venn diagram are regularly seen in mathematical concepts. Here are some. Union and intersection problems usually come from logic, set theory, and probability. Venn diagrams is used in delineating the distinction of one set from another, their similarities and intersection, probability of one event happening, as well as identifying pathologies and fallacies. On the other hand, symmetric problems use Venn diagram to measure how similar one set is from another without having an intersection. In business, Venn diagram is also used in market analysis. Venn diagram may use in simple market analysis when using more than two units of information in business target market. Competitor analysis, it would be possible to use this diagram to evaluate themselves and or their merchandise in their competition. Product comparison, a business person can weigh any versions and similarities of two or more products to figure out what product is desirable. Decision making, a thorough analysis of the strengths and weaknesses of the company is needed. In computer science, people use diagrams to conceive PC language in their ranking. In linguistics, it is used to recognize the similarities of various languages. In statistics, it examines viable occasions and expecting the probability of these activities occurring. In education, teachers also use diagrams to assist students enhance their analyzing comprehension. John Bird came up with a Venn diagram that can be used for almost everyday living. And that would be all for this video. I hope you had learned a lot. Thanks for watching!